this is uh, going to uh, be significant because it will help us understand these mechanisms that are quite vital in, in our lives, uh, be it, uh, you know, after menopause that women uh, uh, lose their bone density or patients that are bedridden for quite some time that they lose bone. Uh, we can understand that what is the mechanism. The first study was looking at whether the cells grow and then we found out, well, it's not just about growth, it affects their function. So building on that, we, we look at how bone formation or loss is impacted. We're looking at different uh, factors that the cells release when they are in, in the wet, wetlessness, uh, in the absence of gravity. We will look at the, the gene expression, you know, what genes are turned on or turned off. Um, and then we see communication between them, different mixture of cells, how do they interact to form uh, bone or, or induce bone loss. In this study, more importantly, that we are testing a novel compound where we think it can be used to treat bone loss, uh, be it in space or on Earth. So though we don't know, this is one of the tests that would be happening at the International Space Station to see how this new compound uh, can be harnessed as a drug in treatment of this uh, bone loss.